Can I share with you something that I said no to? And tell me how silly it was to say no. There was a moment when uh, the Greek state owed... The bankrupt Greek government had to repay five billion to the European Central Bank. Don't ask why, we had to repay it. It was due to the silly mistake by Jean-Claude Trichet to purchase those Greek bonds in 2010, which led to Alex Weber's resignation. He was right. It was a very silly thing to do. It didn't help Greece. All that it did was to make sure that all this money, that all these bonds had to be repaid by Greece after they were haircut by 90% at 100% of their value. Anyway, so I had to pay 5 billion to the European Central Bank. I didn't have 5 euros, not 5 billion euros, to give to the ECB, and they knew it. At the same time, there was money coming to Greece, owed to Greece, from the profits of those um, ECB transactions, but because we were at, the, at loggerheads with the creditors, all disbursements were interrupted. MEF was meant to disperse to us so that we repay the ECB was on hold. So I said to them, okay, while we are negotiating, until we reach an agreement, let's simply have a, a moratorium. You are not dispersing to us, we're not disp repaying to you, Let's give ourselves two or three months, and then we can work out exactly how it will work out. They said, no, you have to pay now. I said, well, you can shoot me, you can kill me, I don't have it. I just, even if I take every pensioner and sell him or her as a slave in the Middle East, huh, I won't make five billion to give you. So they said, but we have to respect the rules. I said, okay, how do we do that? I said, well, look, the ECB owes me five billion from all those profits from the past. Actually, it was three and a half plus another one and a half that, anyway. There was some money owed. I said, well, why don't you pay yourselves? No, no, that's against the rules. Can't be done. So I said, okay, so you give me a plan, hmm, a suggestion for respecting the rules. And here is what, I, what they came back with. This is verbatim, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, he said, minister, You've got to ask the Greek banks, the bankrupt banks, huh, to issue IOUs worth 7 billion, with a face value of 7 billion. But I said, yeah, but who, you know, I mean, I can write the piece of, on a piece of paper that this is worth 7 billion. It doesn't make it worth 7 billion. He said, oh, no, that's okay. Because then they will bring them to you, to those, those IOUs, IOUs to you, and you will guarantee them. I said, yeah, but I am bankrupt. How can one bankrupt entity guarantee the 7 billion IOUs of another bankrupt entity? No, don't worry, don't worry. Because then they will take those IOUs that you have guaranteed to the Central Bank of Greece, which is going to get the OK from Frankfurt to lend 5 billion using the 7 billion IOUs guaranteed by the Greek state as collateral. And then what you're going to do is you're going to issue your own IOUs treasury bills of the Greek state, worth five billion, you will sell it to the Greek bankers for the five billions that they will have borrowed from the ECB, and thus you repay the ECB. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever heard of the term Ponzi scheme? If this is not a Ponzi scheme, I do not know what is. I'm giving you an indication of that which I meant by throwing good money after bad. Because you see, after this cycle is completed, the Greek state owes more, huh? because there is interest to be paid in every step of the transaction. And who is going to foot that bill? Germany again. Well, my point, and this is the title of my book, is you cannot keep doing this to Germany, and you cannot keep doing this to Greece. <laughs>